hydrogen in the presence of OH minus provided by KOH is getting converted to water with the release of electrons. Now, the oxygen which is supplied through the other electrode, it accepts those electrons getting converted to OH minus. So, there is a replenishment of potassium hydroxide here because of this OH minus ion formation. Overall reaction can be written as 2H2 plus O2 gives 2H2. So, the overall voltage that you get is 1.3 volts. As you know, the voltage of any cell, EMF of any cell is E of cathode minus E of anode. E of cathode would be 0 0.0, 0 0.4 volts. Anode is minus 0 0.83. You can find out these values from the, uh, you know, electrochemical cells. The overall voltage you get is 1.23 volts. Now, uh, the recharging of, recharging and uh, re the the way uh, lead storage battery works and what happens when it discharges, when what happens when it is recharged, it is a very common question in CBSC. Otherwise, one of these batteries are normally asked for CBSC and the answer should contain what happens at anode, what happens at cathode and the overall reaction and the voltage created, the anode used, cathode used, electrolyte used. These three informations you have to give. I think with this, the electrochemistry discussion is over. I must tell you that the concepts will get uh, uh, clarified when you do lots of practice from the chapter. You can try the questions given in the exercise of NCRT textbook. Hope you understood all the concepts. Try to use the concept to solve the problems. Thank you so much for listening. See you in the next session. Thank you.